Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message that I recorded on September 26, 2023, I'll be using the Guardian Angel Oracle by Debbie Malone. There's the front of that box cover now. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks, and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light, guardian angels. What do we need to know for the all signs collective energy? For those that find this timeless message, what do we need to know? Most important message of this day, of the right moment, and there it goes. Wow. Very interesting indeed. Absolutely love this card. And look at that. Isn't that neat? What a beautiful, interesting image. Right off the bat, if you are resonating with anything on this image, please know that could be a sign and synchronicity in your life. And to pay attention to those signs, all right? The Angel of Balance is the name of this card in number two. So if you're seeing 222 two, two repeating in your environment, please do your homework. Go out and do your research. Use that human intelligence. Use the divine intuition and do your homework. Do the searches on the internet. What is the meaning of the repeating number 222? And see what comes up for you and apply the message to the areas of your life that resonate the most. The angel of balance. Can't we all right off the bat just realize that balance is really the name of the game when it comes to living our human lives and experiencing what it means to be a human and how balance really puts us and puts our life into perspective. And when we're out of balance, that can certainly affect us. We're gonna jump into the booklet by Debbie Malone. And my return watchers do know, as I mentioned in every single video, I'm reading the words from the booklets that come along with the decks, so right? And I do that to honor the hard work that these deck creators do, not only in you know, creating the cards and the naming of the cards and what we focus on within the cards, but also the message that they intended when they created the specific image and the specific card. So let's get into it. And these are not my words, right? Anything additional that I might add is gonna come from my own personalized human experience, may never make sense to you, and that is okay right we all live different lives we all experience different things that are meant for us and nobody's path is better or worse than anyone else's we're all here for a reason so take what resonates if i would bring anything forward from my own life experience and if i would receive any specific channeled messages i will bring those forward and please know that is for a specific person or a few, and you'll know if it resonates with you. But we're gonna get into the booklet message here. You are in a calm and balanced state of mind. You will make the right decisions for your future. Your angel of balance is here to help calm and still your mind and assist you to regain balance in your life. Is the issue you are worrying about due to friends or family members putting you off balance by pulling you into their own issues? If so, ask your angel of balance to guide you so you can make the best decision for your own growth as well as for the friends or family members in this situation. If the situation concerns a decision within your own personal life, Sit back and take the time to review the current issue. Write a list of separating the for and against considerations regarding the decision you are struggling with. Interesting. Next, take your time in deciding what decision feels right for you. Focus on the decision that allows you to feel the most balance and calmness in your life. Once you have reached this decision, surrender any worries you have to your angel of balance and she will take care of the finer details of your decision. Be safe in the knowledge that you have made the right decision 
and you will begin to feel that your life is back in balance and on the right track. Affirmation, I am balanced and grounded. My angel of balance is with me to assist me in making the right decision. And I am receiving an intuitive downloaded message here about somebody wanting to make the decision to step away from their own business. <clears throat> and um, that's a heavy decision to make, isn't it? Because it really would affect your family, your income, you know, your life's work, and all, and all sorts of different things that it can affect. But you're really finding yourself out of balance with this particular job that you, and it's really a job that you've created because you're the owner of your own business, okay? But the decision that you're really thinking about and, and trying to weigh yourself against is, should I quit? Should I end or should I stop um, my own business and, and maybe pivot and transition into something else? You absolutely need to consider that. You need to consider how your current business is keeping you way out of balance and you're spending too much of your own time and too much of your life force energy focusing on this one thing. And, and I know that everyone needs to have an income to survive. Money makes the world go round as we know that, all right? And the more that you want to acquire, the more money and resources it takes. If you're happier with less, then you don't need as much to support the, that, okay? So also weighing that as well, how much do you actually need in your life to be happy? Do you simply just need your needs to be met, the basic needs, or do you want to have extra, okay? And these are all questions you have to ask yourself, and how much extra is necessary for your happiness, all right? Because let me tell you something, when you find that you are grateful and thankful for what you have and find that you are grateful and thankful for less, happiness is much easier of a state to attain because you don't keep going for that next shiny thing or, or believing that you have to have X, Y, and Z to finally feel happiness. Happiness is a mindset, okay? <clears throat> and you can have little to no material possessions and be one of the happiest people on the planet. It's all up to you and how you choose. But this is a specific message for somebody that owns their own business, that finds that they're working day in and day out and weekends and nights and evenings, including the day hours, missing out on family, missing out on other opportunities, and it's not bringing fulfillment to you, all right? So you've wrestled with this decision and it's time. You, you're you being led this way, you're being brought to this fork in a road to decide your next path. Are you gonna continue on with this out of balance reality that you're living? Or are you gonna take this opportunity to make a change and choose a different direction for the benefit of you for the benefit of your health, your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, your well-being, people that are surrounding you and their well-being? Are you gonna continue on living the way that you're living? Or are you gonna make a different choice even if it's difficult, even if it means the supposed failure, which <clears throat> nothing really is a failure, okay? Things may end Things may stop is the way that you know it, but realizing that is actually a wonderful blessing in disguise, okay? Being led in a different direction. So this is a very channeled message here today for somebody that has been contemplating moving away from your own business in the way that it stands right now. That doesn't mean that you can't pivot and change direction and continue to have your own business, but doing something else, taking a different approach, something along those lines. Because guess what, everyone? Yesterday is done and over with. 
We need to take those lessons that we've learned and apply them to our life moving forward. But guess what, everyone? Tomorrow isn't promised, is it? Not to me, not to you, not to anyone. Our first blessing of every single day is waking up alive and saying, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, source energy. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, whatever you want to say, you fill in the blank to what resonates with you, okay? And if you feel called to action, today is the day and now is the time. As you're on this current lifetime, on this current path, or right in this timeline, okay? So today is the day and now is the time, is the only time that we're promised. So if you feel inspired to take action, to make that change, to turn your business in a different direction, today is the day to do so and to make those plans and to start taking action. I thank you so much, everyone. We can all learn from this message here today about living a life in balance and what that means and apply it to your life where that resonates. Is there a place that's out of balance for you? Let's think about that today and how we can take action and make a plan to change it. Thank you for coming back and supporting me the way that you do. I appreciate you. I see you. I thank you. Thank you for your support and all that you do. I see you, every single one. Like I said, I'm really watching and I'm noticing the new subscribers coming in. And I know that those that need to receive the message and need to gain some value are receiving the message. So this is meant for you. <clears throat> Put that best foot forward. Be the best human you can be. Come back tomorrow and join me again for yet another collective energy message. Bye-bye.